You'd imagine being a polar bear at Yorkshire Wildlife Park would be pretty chilled out. I mean, look at Pixel and Nissan here. But recently tensions have started to build, as these guys are leaving out Victor, the oldest bear, who just wants to get in on their bromance and enjoy a little bit of pair bonding. The deputy carnivore leader at the park, Colin, has been watching the love triangle unfold over the last few months, and he says it's due to the bears reaching their teenage years and their hormones increasing that's brought on this intense bonding. But who's actually involved in the love triangle? We have Victor, who's the old man, uh, and we've got Pixel and Nissan, and uh, little Nobby, we've got the four bears, so little Nobby hasn't really got himself involved, so it's Nissan, Pixel and Victor. They're getting into the, the hormonal teenage years, if you like, and um, they started to get um, a bit boisterous and look, look for pair bonding, basically. We don't try and stop it because it's something that is, uh, it's a natural thing that, uh, that comes to, to all of us. You know, we all go through that puberty stage and um, the bears are the same. They, they come into this natural um, state. Um, so rather than try and stop it, you, you try and help to manage it in the best way possible that's safe and um, good for the bears and, and doesn't cause too much animosity. Dealing with moody teenagers can be testing at the best of times, but imagine having to look after a bunch of hormonal polar bears that weigh over 100 stone. I certainly wouldn't want to break up any of their arguments. It's made it complicated, I, I won't deny that. Um, this time of year when the bears go through their hormonal changes they go off their food sometimes and they can get pretty boisterous and um, play fight a lot and pair bond as I've said. It's quite exciting, it's interesting to witness um, uh, but we don't, we don't change too much, it just keeps us on our toes. One's been pretty naughty really, we've got Pixel who's kind of piggy in the middle and uh, he, he will stir things up a little bit, he kind of goes towards Victor and um, Nissan gets a bit jealous then because Nissan wants to be with Pixel. Uh, it never gets very violent at all. It's usually more vocal um, and a bit of, bit of chasing. Um, but uh, I think Pixel's probably the, uh, the mischievous one. Sometimes it's quite funny, sometimes it's quite stressful. It depends on how they react to, with themselves. Um, if they get a bit argy-bargy, it can be quite stressful to uh, to kind of control it to a degree. Um, but a lot of the time, there's a lot of humour to it. It's very interesting to watch their behaviours and see them mooching around and doing what polar bears do. Um, they're very exciting animals, they're massive animals as well, I hasten to add. Victor is currently around about 650 kilos, so he's a big boy, that's over 100 stone. Nobby is the fourth bear that we haven't talked about much, but he, he's not come into these hormonal changes just yet. He's not quite mature enough. He's our smallest bear, believe it or not, even though he's absolutely massive. He probably stands over four feet at the back there. Um, when he stands on his hind legs, he can reach around about nine feet. And um, he's still growing. Uh, he's five years old and he's still growing. Um, they're not fully grown until they're about seven and uh, he'll be, well, his back will probably come up here on this, on this uh, mesh here when he's, a, when he's a big boy and he'll stand around about 11, 12 feet, maybe taller. But he's everyone's favourite, he's lovely. But who does social media manager Liam want Pixel to pick? Maybe their love triangle can be turned into a social media soap opera where visitors can decide who Pixel should have as his bestie. We do do quite a lot of slightly sillier stuff on Instagram particularly so maybe we could get people to vote on who Pixel should pick between Nissan and Victor that might be quite good. Personally I'm team Victor uh, because I think he is the oldest bear he's kind of he's bred across Europe and he's so, sort of for want of a better phrase been on a lads tour of Europe where he's sort of bred in, in the breeding program across the continent and now he's retired here he wants to have a nice life and I think he should be able to hang around with who he wants to so I prefer to see him playing with the others um, but also I do love Nobby he's probably my favourite of the four bears and there's nothing sadder than watching him try to play with Victor and just get ignored um, so that I'm really in my heart I'm team Nobby over everybody. Well there you have it are you team Victor or team Nissan or maybe you'd rather Victor just be friends with little Nobby maybe they're polar opposites Either way, their relationships just don't seem to be getting over this icy patch anytime soon.